In verse 41 of the chapter of al ankabut the following is stated. The parable of those who take protectors other than Allah is that of the spider who builds to itself a house. But truly the flimsiest of houses is the spider's house, if they but knew. There are two important points in this verse. The first one is as follows. The word of Ankabut in the verse is referred to the female spider. The word of Itahazit is the feminine conjugation of the verb that means build for itself. The masculine conjugation of this verb is Itahaz. Allah Almighty states that the house of the spider is made by the female spider by using the feminine conjugation of the verb. Here, this indication of femininity expressed by the Quran on this issue exposes another miracle. It is as follows. As a result of the researches on animals, very interesting results on spiders have been reached. One of them is that the house of the spider is made not by the male spider, but the female spider. The result that the science has reached is in complete harmony with the news of the Quran. The Quran states that the house of the spider is made by the female spider and science approves this and accepts that it is true. The second important point in the verse is as follows. Another piece of information on spiders that has been acquired is as follows. In a large section of animals, males are bigger and stronger than females. Spiders are among the minority of the living creatures in which females are bigger than males. Generally, Living species build their houses in order to protect themselves from heat, cold, enemies, and any kind of harm. However, the spider builds its house in order to destroy, harm, and eat those who visit its house by mistake. Thus, the house of the spider is the most insecure of all houses. The female spider also eats its male after copulating with it. Thus, the house of female spiders is insecure for its male, let alone others. If the male spider cannot be among the successful males who can escape after copulation, the house of its female will become his grave. With the flimsiness of the house of the spider, the Quran intends to express this figurative meaning. So, the Quran reveals another miracle by stating both that the house of the spider is built by its female and that the flimsiest house of all is the house of the spider. The Quran mentions many issues from the expansion of space to the atmosphere of the earth being a protective roof from the waves under the seas to the seas not mixing with one another, from the orbits of stars to the house of the spider, 
being built by the female and the flimsiness of this house. The Quran never makes any mistakes in any field, though it gives information about such different issues. On the contrary, it exhibits miracles that amaze people whose eyes and hearts are not blinded in all fields. It is impossible for an illiterate man who lived 14 centuries ago to know and mention all of these things on his own. then the Quran can only be the book of the being that created the universe. For the Quran miraculously mentions everything that the book of the universe includes and all of its news turns out to be true.